All right, so get this. We've got articles here about stars so dense a teaspoon would weigh billions of tons. Billions. And they're spinning so fast they blast out radiation beams. Like a lighthouse. It's pulsars. And today we're going deep. From those alien whispers to, get this, using them as space GPS. You ready? Always up for a deep dive into pulsars. A lot of folks think they're alien signals. Oh yeah, saw that in the listener mail. Origins and the ET angle for sure. But the real story is even wilder and that's what we're here to unpack. Awesome, so these articles mention a discovery back in 67. A young astrophysicist finds something totally unexpected. Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Working with a radio telescope, she picks up these pulses. Radio waves, right, but super regular, like clockwork regular. Exactly, at first no one knew what to make of it. I bet. That must have been both exciting and kind of freaky, like what if it was aliens? Well, some scientists did jump to that conclusion. The LGM hypothesis, Little Green Men. No way, Little Green Men, that's amazing. It caught on for a bit, but it didn't last. So how'd they figure out it wasn't a cosmic Morse code? More pulsars were found, each with its own pulse rate. Some even sped up or slowed down over time. So not a steady artificial signal then. Right, more like a natural process. Okay, so no aliens but what's causing these signals? Think of a star way bigger than our sun. Okay, got it. It runs out of fuel, goes supernova, boom! Mm. The core collapses in on itself. So all that stuff squeezed into a tiny ball. Exactly, a neutron star. Super dense, city size, but with the mass of the sun. Wow, that's hard to even picture. And it spins crazy fast. With intense magnetic fields, those fields channel the radiation. So like it's sweeping out beams as it spins. Precisely. We see it as a pulse each time the beam points our way, hence pulsar. That is so cool. So we've cracked the pulsar code, but it's more than just a cool phenomenon, right? Oh, absolutely. The applications are mind-blowing. Think space navigation. Using pulsar is like a cosmic GPS. Whoa, hold on. How does that work? Each pulsar's pulse is unique. A fingerprint. By timing those pulses from different pulsars, spacecraft can figure out their location. So, like triangulation, but on a galactic scale. Exactly. We're talking accuracy down to kilometers across light years of space. No way. Is anyone actually using this? NASA's sextant experiment proved it works. Imagine navigating to Mars or beyond using pulsars. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And to think, it all started with that little green man idea. It shows how our fascination with extraterrestrial life pushes science forward. We might not have found aliens yet. But hey, we got pulsars. Why? We went from the unknown to understanding these objects, and now we're using them to explore the cosmos. So cool. So we've learned pulsars aren't aliens, but incredibly dense spinning stars and they can help us navigate the galaxy. Truly remarkable, a testament to the power of scientific curiosity and discovery. This deep dive has been amazing. It makes you wonder, if pulsars can do all this, what else is out there waiting to be found? Exactly, a universe of possibilities waiting to be explored. Who knows what we'll discover next? That's something to ponder, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, everyone. Until next time. Until next time.